what's up today i'm gonna show you how to fillet fry bluegill using this new louisiana style breading seasoning um they don't really sell the uh andes at walmart no more i think they sell it at giant eagle um but i tried this louisiana style breading crispy and it is excellent it's just as good um it's just actually not the reddish color it's more yellowish color but it's crispy it is hands down good so in this video i'm gonna show you exactly how to get it what to do let's get it what's up i'm in walmart and i found some louisiana fish fry batter this batter i would say it's just as good as andy's i tried it before and i tried to season crispy I haven't tried the New Orleans style yet with uh, mostly lemon, but I would say probably this one here is like Tony the Tiger. Great. I would definitely get this. Um, they got a lot of different batters in here, but these ones here, you can use the flour. One cup of flour with. Like I said, I had this one. I never tried this one. And they don't have Andes anymore. So if you ever come here, you know where to go. Beautiful fish. Bluegills is definitely some good eating. Nice big brim. Well, I start off, some people cut behind the gills. You know, they, they cut it from back here and uh, start cutting the meat. But me personally, I want to get all the meat I can get. So I start up here. And I make an outline around the gills. I do the second side the same way. I basically, I basically go around. And this is a big blue gill. This is, this is a nice nine incher. Then you go, that's when I use my box cutter. And I'm just going back. Flip it over. Lay knife. Get those bones. That's what you're trying to go for. Stick it to. Again, the other side. Take it through. Voila. So then I flip it back over. Never eat the belly meat. As you can see, I left all that belly meat. And I didn't pierce the skin of the belly. Flip it over. And I do the same. Like so. So 
again. Left the bones. These extra bones. Belly meat. Belly meat on the other side. Didn't pierce the belly meat at all either. Okay. Now's the time when I get my fork. You need your fork for you. Get your fork and your fillet knife. Take the fork. Filet. Nice big juicy filet. And look at all these scales still on here. And I left the skin on here. But that's how you filet it. If you take a good look at it, I cut the center out of a lot of the meat. Um, the reason I cut the center out is for one major reason. The center sometimes have bones, even in bluegill, they have little bones. Um, I don't like none of the bones in it. So I just cut the centers out. And it ain't hard to do, you just fill it with your hand and cut the center out of the bone. But now you got basically, I call them, they like chicken tenders, fish tenders. And it's time to get ready to prepare them for the batter. Beautiful white meat. Beautiful. Here's the batter, like I said, from Walmart. It's called Louisiana Fish Fry Products. Crispy fish fry. So it's better than cornmeal. And then once you have it in a bag with, like I said, one cup of flour, then you have your bluegill that you cut up in another hefty or whatever Ziploc bag. And all you do is transfer it from one bag to the next. And like I said, you transfer it over into the bag, shake it up. And this is a new kind of seasoning. I had it before, only once before though. And this is how it looks fully almost yellowish this one don't look reddish like the other one this is almost yellowish this batter now i'm going to start some chips which is the fries cut fries that's the best fries you cut them yourself Deep fry and cook it for the chicken. Fish is about ready. As you can see, all the fish is ready. Now, this batter here makes it look a little yellow, but it is so good. Trust me. And like I said, they like chicken tenders or fish tenders, I call them. Beautiful. Beautiful. Finished product, looking good. All I can say about this, this meal here, let me grab some of it. Mm. A quote from The Rock. Can you smell what Ray every day is cooking? Woo!